Hi, I'm Kimberly Gloss Late, Space Food Systems Laboratory Manager at the Johnson Space Center. Welcome to Mission Imagination. The true answer is, it's not. We purchase the foods that we repackage for the crew members to consume on orbit from local grocery stores right here in the Houston area. We do this because we want the crew members to have a food system that's familiar to them, that makes them comfortable when they're living and working on the International Space Station. How does the food system work on the International Space Station? Well, we package the foods here at our lab at Johnson Space Center, and they are then stowed in food containers that we call bulk overwrap bags. That's Bob for short. We stow the food by category. We have one Bob that has beverages and straws, another Bob that has meats and fish, and so on. Once those containers have been stowed in our lab, they're shipped to the cargo integration facility where they're combined into a cargo ship set and loaded into a specific vehicle, like SpaceX or Orbital, for launch to International Space Station. Once those vehicles arrive at station and are docked, the cargo can be offloaded and the astronauts can stow the Bob containers into the galley area. When an astronaut's ready for a meal, they simply go to the various Bob containers, select the food items they want, and reheat them and eat. Planning a food system for Mars is a complex problem. We're approaching it from three different directions. First of all, we're looking at using alternative processing technologies like microwave-assisted thermal sterilization and high-pressure processing, in addition to packaging systems that will restrict the flow of oxygen vapor and water vapor transmission into the food products after they're packaged. Secondly, we're looking at meal replacement bars, which will allow crew members to consume a single bar instead of eating several food items for breakfast or for lunch. The third thing we're doing is looking at boosting nutrients within the individual food items like omega-3 fatty acids, proteins, and probiotics. All of these things will help ensure that the crew member's health is supported for all of the work that they have to do on Mars base. Now it's time for you to put science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to work, something we do at NASA every day. Good luck on challenge number one. Inspire, explore, engage, mission imagination.